sorry, Miss Capwell. We've lost him. No. Cruz. Cruz. Don't, don't. Don't. Baby. It's okay. It's okay. Since Cruz is in the hospital, I mm. called Kane over at the Capwell house, but the maid said that he'd moved out. That's right. Oh, so you know where he is? Well, what do you need to talk to him for? Pearl, someone made an attempt on the man's life last night, and since Cruz is in no position to help him, I thought I'd take over the slack and... Mm. Look, you don't need to worry about Kane. Okay. Do you know where he is and you're not telling me? What's going on around here, Pearl? That's what we're trying to find out. But if you're so interested in locating Kane, the best thing you can do is talk to Cruz about it. Fine. And I was screaming for the doctor to come in, and when he did, he told me you were dead. Hmm. And that I had lost you. Oh, baby, you hadn't lost me, you know. You didn't lose me. I'm here. It was just a bad nightmare, and you might as well get used to it. Chances are you're stuck with me from here on out, okay? You okay, yeah. Hey, you shouldn't be out of bed. No, hey, I'm fine, you know. I'm... I was up half the night anyway looking at you. I had forgotten how beautiful you are when you sleep. You don't know how much I missed being with you at night. Yes, I do. What? It happened again. What? What happened? What's wrong? I didn't tell you. When I was pulling you out of the garage, I got this sensation in my legs. It's like the spasms that I used to get. And you just had one now? Yeah. Oh, that's great. Do you know what this means? The... That's very good, little legs. You're gonna walk again. You're like good instincts, little legs. I love you, and I love your legs. I love you. Everything's gonna be okay. Oh, I know. Yeah. Kane, it's me. Dad, I'm sorry. I didn't know who was coming. What are you doing with that knife? I was shot at yesterday. All right, look, um, I was working upstairs. I just want to let you know uh, it's okay for you to uh, stay down here as long as you need to. I mean, if that's what, you know, Cruz wants. Thanks, I appreciate it. Well, it, you know, those shots for Kelly could have as well killed her if you hadn't actually acted as quickly as you did, so we uh, are all very grateful for, for what you did. Look, I'm not looking for anyone's gratitude. I know, I know, I know that. J whatever, you're just welcome to stay here as long as you need to, okay? I hope it's not too long. I just gotta remember. Yeah, that would be a big help. Uh, Kane, look, as long as you're here, do me a favor and don't wave that knife at every shadow you see, okay? So tell me, um, tell me exactly what, what, what happened? How did this happen? Well, I was trying so hard to get you out of the garage and do the fresh air, and, the, and then suddenly I just felt it. And this is the way it felt in the mountains when you had that, when you started to get better? Yeah, right before I started getting any movement, I, I had these little spasms in my legs. Aiden, you're going to walk again. I know you are. That's what this means. I mean, I, I, I'll help you. I'll help you do anything you want. I can I help you now. You want to rub them or something like that? No. Like, nope. No, I want you to get up off your knees. I want you to get into bed before the doctor comes in here and yells at me and well, makes me leave. No, nah, forget the doctor. Do you realize what this means? Seriously, do you know what this means? I know what it means. It means I'm going to walk again. I really believe that. I have so much hope. There's a lot of hope and there's a lot of time. We don't have to rush this. We'll just take it a step at a time. We'll work through it together. Do you think we're going to have a family someday? Well, I, I have no doubt whatsoever. There'll be like uh, mini Edens running all over the place, sticking their little noses where they don't belong and wrecking the beach house. I can see it now. We'll be 
be walking down the shoreline together, passing this little babbling baby back and forth. I mean, seriously, I can see it happening. I just don't understand where Kane could be. Listen, baby, uh, I gotta tell you, I think Kane may be out of circulation for a little while, starting about now. Hey, what are you doing here, Edie? How are you keeping the, the big man under control here? Who's stashed away? Uh, what do you mean, who? Well, you said he's safely stashed away. Did I say he's? Yes. No, well, I'm, I'm, I meant she's. You see, we got this old jalopy that we sometimes use at the detective agency, and every now and then it breaks down. What, what do I mean every now and then? All the time. So we got a stash in the garage. Am I not right, Cruzy? Girl, you're not talking about a car. You're talking about Kane. Uh, Where is he? Uh, Eden, he is talking about Kane. You've got him hidden someplace. Why do you think he's in some kind of danger? Uh, well, I, um, you know, I, 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 I don't know really if he is or not, but I can't, I can't be sure. Somebody took a shot at somebody. It might have been Kelly. I have Jeffrey looking out for her, and I don't want to take a chance with him. So you well, don't have to worry. Uh, I think. That no, he... you don't have to worry or think about this. You see, this is under control. Well, where's King? Well, where he is is beside the point. That he's safe. Very safe. And you're not going to tell me where he is? I don't want you getting involved in this, baby. I, it's, it could be dangerous. You mean you're not going to tell me where he's hidden? Well, if I tell you where he is, then you're going to make a beeline right for him. What makes you think I'd do something like that? Everything you've ever done since the day I met you. Well, that's not a very nice thing to say. It's true. Yes, but it's not very nice. Well, I think you're going to have to trust Pearl and me on this to take care of it. We're going to unravel this mess, right, pal? You got it. And we will give you a progress report as it unfolds minute by minute. But things will go smoother if you just let the two of us do our jobs, so to speak. Right? Fine. So you have Kane hidden. Now what? Well, so I've spoken to Kelly, and she seems to think that he's uh, he's remembering little bits and pieces of his past. What was he remembering? Well, we don't know yet exactly. He can't get the whole picture together yet, but he does think it's important, whatever it is. So you've hidden him? Yeah. Where? None of your beeswax, pal! Well, what, what are you telling me? You're telling me that, that you don't think it's just a coincidence that Kane found me in the mountains? I'm not telling you. I didn't tell. I'm not telling you any. Don't tell me what I'm telling you. Don't start putting words in my I, mouth. I'm trying to get words out of your mouth. No, I'm the. Well, take. You're wasting your time. You see, I have determined that Kane should be alone for the time being, and he can get his head together, and he needs to be undisturbed while that process happens. Okay. Fine. I won't bother. Well, good. I'm glad we settled that. Well, I'm glad to know that you think I'm such a Budinsky. Budinsky? I didn't say you were. I don't even know what that means. Did you hear somebody say Budinsky around here? Yeah, she said it. Thank you, bro. Yeah, thanks a lot, bro. Well, that's not what I meant, you know. What a, what a team. You guys ought to go into business together. Well. Yeah, I mean, you've been here all night. Well, maybe you ought to go home and uh, cop a little fresh air for a while. What, are you trying to get rid of me? Me never. Actually, it might not be a bad idea for me to go home and freshen up. Oh, well, in that case, Pearl will go with you. No, you don't have to go with me. Oh, yes, he does. You don't have your van here, Eden. It'll take an hour for somebody to drive it over all the way over here. That'd be a waste of time. Hey, wait a minute. You don't like my company no more? Oh, no, it doesn't have anything. All right. Let's go. Come on, I'm kick the makeup. Come on. See you later. See you there. Oh, that tweet. Get out of here. This way, ma'am. Can I speak to you, please, bro? Yes, sir. All right, I want you to keep a close eye on her. You think she could be a target? I don't know, but I know Eden, and she just gave up way too soon. She's not buying this. She's going to try to figure out where Kane is and go to him, no matter what she says, all right? Big. No problem. I'll keep a close eye. No problem. You better. I'll get back to you. You get... How's Chris doing? Oh, he's doing much better. Oh, good. Good. You feeling okay? You don't have any, like, uh, headaches or anything from all that exhaustion here? No. I, I feel wonderful. Hey, can't you tell? Check out the more rosy cheeks right here. Yeah. No, you, you're looking great. Uh, does your little brother know that you're moving back in with Grosie? Oh, Mom told me about that. That's wonderful. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Listen, don't let me keep you if you're going somewhere. Oh. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go see Cruz right now, in fact, and then I'm gonna go work out. 
at this this new club on Cabrillo. Have you heard of it? Oh, yeah, I heard about that place. That's supposed to be fantastic. All the latest model, great machines and yeah, stuff. That's you know, I used to have a chick down there, a trainer. She'll turn you into Rambo inside a couple of weeks. Well, I'll just settle for a good workout. <laughs> All right. Okay. Woo! Have fun. Okay. See you later, alligator. All right. Yeah. You know, I, I really like the kid. It's too bad about him and Haley, though. It really yeah, is. Yeah, I... Oh, no. What's the matter? Well, I kind of thought when I got home that I'd like to take a swim, but I don't want to go all the way upstairs and come downstairs and then I have to change back in my clothes. Do you think you could go upstairs and get my bathing suit for me? Me? Yeah. Well, I, I wouldn't know what to, the, the first thing about what to look for. I would, why, why not call your mom oh, well, and get here, her... Oh, here. Her car wasn't outside. Listen, Pearl, I know you've been assigned to me to be my bodyguard, but I am home. I'm perfectly fine. Okay, just this once. Uh, w w what's the color? It's blue, and it's in the top drawer of my dresser, and bring my goggles. Stay put. I'll be right back. Hi, this is Eden. Listen, could you send Frank around with the old station wagon? Yeah, I want to follow someone, and I don't want them to know that it's me. Thanks. Glad to see that you're all right. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Well, I, uh, I'd like to know where Kane is, and Pearl said that if I wanted to know, I'd have to ask you, so I'm asking. Well, Kane is safe. <sighs> oh, this is great. This is really wonderful. I mean, somehow, Pearl has gotten it into his head that he has to be suspicious of me. No, no, not suspicious. He's downright paranoid. And now, somehow, he's managed to get to you. Pearl hasn't gotten to me. Then why is the wall between us suddenly so much higher? The wall? I don't know what you're talking about. I just told you, Kane is safe. I don't see why you should be so desperate to know where he is. A, a desperate? I'm not desperate. I just would like to know that you have a little faith in me. I do find it ironic that you've managed to cloister Kane away where no one can find him, not even Eden. But I guess that makes it easier for you to feel good about her loyalties and not to worry about them anymore. Eleanor, I have no doubts about Eden's loyalties. No, of course not. But what about some loyalty to me as a business partner? I mean, you have no reason whatsoever to hide Cain from me. I've helped you from the very beginning. You can't deny that. No, I don't. I don't deny that. I, I, I don't know what to tell you. You know, if this is a betrayal, I, I didn't mean it as such. Maybe I'm taking this case more seriously than usual because Eden's safety is involved. I don't know. I wouldn't have told Pearl about it for that matter if I could have got out of this damn hospital bed, but I can't. Okay. I guess I have to find that one. <laughs> but it hurts me, Chris. I'm really sorry. I don't know what to tell you. Well, tell me the truth. What do you think I'm going to do if I find Kane? I mean, do you think I'm going to do something crazy and harm him? Of course not. I mean, why would you harm the guy? You don't even know him. Oh, Cruzy, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't, don't, don't hit me. Eden. Don't hit me. Where's Eden? She's talking about a, a swimming suit, a swimming suit, a goggles for me to Girl, get Girl, where I, the hell is she? I don't know where she is. I, I left the damn the atrium. She wanted me to go upstairs, and she took off. Oh, for God's sake. And how the hell did you manage to find me here? I saw Ted with your bag, and I thought he might be bringing it to you, so I followed him. T Ted let you in here? No, I told Ted him... Ted didn't know anything about it. I waited until he left, and then Frank helped me out of the car. What do you want? I had to come to see you. Why? I wanted to apologize. I mean, I know everything you've been through, and I'm really sorry for bringing you to the Eden, house and you... making you dredge up all those painful memories. You didn't do anything. Those memories were there. 
I would have remembered him sooner or later, no matter what. Cruz seems to think that the memories that you have have something to do with the violence that's happening to my family, and I want to help you. No. I want to be here for you. No, it is dangerous here for you. Look at what almost happened to Kelly last night. Now just go back to Cruz and forget about me. Look, I can't. My family might be in danger. You might be in danger, and I don't want anything to happen to you. Right. Right. At least not until uh, I've cleared the way for you and Cruz to go off into the sunset together. I care about you, Kane, and I care about what you remember. Have you remembered anything else? Yes, I remembered a woman. I don't, I don't see her face, but I see her coming down a long corridor. Where? I don't know. It's some place familiar. I just, I just can't put it in a place. I don't know where. Anything else? No, that's it. So, uh, you can leave here and go back to your, uh, precious cruise. I'll let you know if I remember anything, I promise. Thanks. Eden. Yes. How is... He's fine. Thanks for asking. You must love him very much. I don't know why I never saw that. Yes, I do love him. I've loved him for a long time. I heard you saved Chris's life last night. <clears throat> I just hope he realizes how lucky he is to have you. Well, I think we're both understanding what we have. I'm going to move back in with him. Is that what you want to do? Yes. Well, then I'm happy for you. I'm happy for both of you. Thanks, Kane. Well, uh, you better get out of here now. It's, it's not safe for you here. You saved my life. I'll never forget that. I'm telling you, that Eleanor is right there on the edge. I can see when I was talking to her, she's ready to snap. Hey, that may be, pal, but that doesn't mean the doctor's gonna let you take off out of here so fast. Well, I want her to think I trust her, but I'm not going to do it if it means Eden's going to be out there alone unprotected. No, well, I'm going to take care of it. You were supposed to take care of it already. I'm sorry. I apologize. I lost up. Uh, I'm going to go out there and go find no, her. No, you're not. I'm going to go out there and find her, man. I'm not going to lay here in this bed. This is why I tell you. I found her. What I tell you? I can hear you guys out in the hall. I don't care. I'm fine. You're fine. Yes, I'm fine. Bro, do you mind leaving us alone for a second, please? Please. No problem. No problem. Where have you been? I went to see Kane. Yeah, you went to see Kane because I told you not to go see Kane. I told you how dangerous it was, so you went to see Kane. Do you want to fight about this? No, I don't want to fight about this, Eden, and I don't want you getting mixed up in something you don't know anything about. I think I know a lot more about it than you think. What do you know about it? All the pieces are starting to come together in my mind. Now, Kane remembers a woman. He can't remember her face, but he knows she's dangerous. Yesterday, someone tried to shoot at Kane and Kelly, or, or both of them. The police came. They found a woman's footprints. Mason disappears. Jeffrey and Kelly go out to the desert to go looking for him, and they get shot at. And if you go back far enough, it was a woman who hit me over the head and threw me down the mountain. Yeah. Do you remember what that woman looked like? No. Well, see, we can't necessarily tie all this stuff in together. We're jumping to conclusions here. Oh, now, you look me in the eyes and you tell me you really believe that. I think that what we need to do is go looking for a woman who's behind all the violence against my family. Am I right? Probably you're right. Pearl and I have been working on this for quite a while now, and everything seems to point in the same direction. Every time we turn around, we're looking at Eleanor Norris. 
I wouldn't be at all surprised if it ends up that Eleanor was behind all of this stuff. I'd like nothing better than just call Timmons up and get him to slap handcuffs on her, but there's no way we can do that without some kind of evidence, and she is very, very clever. She's covered her tracks incredibly well. Well, what are you going to do? Well, the only thing I can think of to do is set a trap for her. I'm going to try to convince her that I'm her friend and that uh, she should trust me. No, she's obviously dangerous. Isn't there some other way? No, she's not going to hurt me. Besides, if we do, if, you know, if we, if we let on, she'll, she'll be out of town. I know this woman. Once she finds out we're under her, we'll never see her again. I want to help. No way, Jose. No, 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 listen you... to me. If Kane can remember and identify Eleanor as the woman he remembers, then, then we've got her. And if anybody is going to help Kane remember, it's going to be me. Eden, just suppose that what we think about this woman is correct. Do you recall what she tried to do to you? Now, I'm not going to take a chance on losing you. I'm sorry, I, I'm... I can barely believe I got you back as it is. You're not gonna lose me. Ever. I don't wanna stay in the hospital tonight, okay? It's just, wouldn't it be nice if I could just pick you up, take you out of here, back to the beach house? There's an awful lot we gotta make up for, you know? Yeah, we do, but we got time. We don't need to rush anything. We're together now. That's all that matters. Would it be nice to stoke up the fire tonight? Wouldn't you like to stretch out in front of it? <clears throat> what are you doing? Pearl's outside, and I promise you, that he will keep an eye on me until I get back here. Eden, where are you going? I'll be back. I'll be back tonight. Promise. <clears throat> Eden.